Hello again, everybody. Uh, I believe I found um, a wiring diagram which will simplify and make it much easier to understand schematics. <clears throat> it has uh, illustrations and areas which are highlighted. I think it will make it much easier, definitely visually. Let's just uh, take the simplest example of your horns don't work. Now, oh, think of one thing, fuse and relays. They are relays for everything. There are modules for everything. Let's just start, let's say, from here. As you see, this is the shaded area over here. We always have to start from a battery. Okay, now, and the dotted line means this is part of something else. Another power distribu distribution center, which is where the relays are and the fuses are. It tells you this right here. That's what the dotted lines are. Then, when you come down over here, we always go through a fuse, usually. We always go through the ampage of the fuse, 20 amps. So, besides the voltage part of it, current has to flow through a complete path to ground. Now, starting from this side, as you can see, the horn relay is involved, and this is ganged, meaning when this is activated by electromagnetic field, the contacts the switch in this case is pulled in completing this circuit and that's what we need as you see over here there is no circuit connected when it's in this position it's only when it's in this position how do we get the switch to flip from here to here he's responsible so current is flowing through a connector through another connector that's why you see these little arrows current comes through here less than 20 amps let's say 10 amps 15 amps whatever goes through here now you see this path this node they call it that means i have another path to go for current to flow current can flow here but in order for that to happen this has to be activated to switch this part of the relay from this position to this position so current cannot flow in this direction yet Current can flow through this, the coil, the coil with the resistor. Now, all points, as you can see, 86 and 85 are coils. The switches are 30 and 87. That's almost, uh, the, the most of the time you'll find these terminals labeled as these numbers. So remember these numbers, 86, 85, coil. The switch part of it, 30, 87. So if you want to jump, you put a jumper across this one. Okay? So... We have current going through here. The fact that we have current going through here, what does it tell you? That tells me that tells me I have a complete path to ground. How do we know? If we would take out the fuse and take into consideration it's not blown, let's say we have 10 amps. If I would put a meter right here and I have current flowing through here, through this meter, that means I have a complete path going to ground. Let's see how that comes about. So we go out here through a wire over here a blue red wire 2232 are notations where the circuits can be found so that's not relevant too much c1 c2 whatever those are connectors okay now in this one over here as you can see you have two <clears throat> two possible paths to, to go either this path to the horns or you could go this path the part depending on the vehicle that you have <clears throat> so let's say we go this path in this path we find something a module so we're going through current is flowing through the blue red wire through a connector c134 with the terminal the pin 32 and it's flowing through here again going through a black wire with the red stripe usually usually goes through a pin of 21 here's a connector see the little uh y shape it goes through a connector and joint connector it's just like a a, a jumper a connector to, to connect these two together like a splice and when we come here or when we come here we see two horns a left and right this, this vehicle has two this is just again this is just a demonstration illustration not a real one but anyway as you can see over here we have switches what type of switches these are normally open for these to close we have to press the horn on the steering wheel what do we do when we do that we connect this switch to ground and what does that do that gives us a complete path so 
when the current flows here, through here, through here, through here, through here to ground, we know we have a complete path. However, central timer module, there can also be a timer over here, central timer module. There could be a module turning this on and off or for a while on a time limit. For whatever reason, they want to make horns on a time limit. It's beyond me. But anyway, this is just an illustration. So we have a module, pin 18, going back up here to this relay. Remember, this needs a ground. This side has a B plus through the fuse to the battery. This needs a ground. Where does it get the ground? When you press the horn to ground. That gives it the ground. Therefore, now current goes here in this vehicle speed control horn switch, as you see, through pin 5 to ground, both of them. If both of them don't work, we have to pay attention to be the relay is not good or the fuse is not good we have to see if we have how much voltage we have we should have 12 here and when you press it you should get zero volts the whole voltage drop across here now we since this is activated now we can deal with this now this is activated remember we said what about the current flowing in this direction now the switch is flipped so now we have another choice over here we have over here we have two horns over here okay as you can see it goes to ground <clears throat> so this part over here joint connector again another connector another just like we had a connector over here current flows from this fuse here 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 through the switch which is closed goes here here and divides <clears throat> so it goes to pin 12 comes up pin 14 goes all cut 12 and goes out 13 also so the current divides here and here what does that what does that mean that means i have 12 volts 12 volts coming in 12 volts going out why i didn't lose any voltage drop here 12 volts going in here 12 volts coming out why it's just a jumper wire i have no voltage loss no voltage drop loss over here so 14 and 30 should be how much 12 volts going into a dark red going into a dark red uh, dark, uh, dark red yeah dark i believe dark red um wire right and does it anyway goes in here goes in here actually this would be uh dk if it be dark it would be dk so dk would be dark red I don't think there is such a thing. But anyway, goes in here, current flows here, current flows here, into this pin and this pin, which is a connector. So if you want to know, you go to pin one of this connector, pin one of this connector, and then you go here to ground, through this joint to ground. If these two don't, don't are not active, these two horns, you have to think maybe this is not activated because this is not activated. So if this had no current going through it to ground, this is not activated, this is not activated, these two are not activated. So you have to blame him, possibly, possibly, or maybe it is a switch. The normal thing is, obviously, if you're going to jump it from pin 30 to 87, you're going to jump it and these come on. We know, we know, right, we know that this part of the circuit is working, but this maybe did not activate this okay so we have to see what happens we might have a problem over here with this part of the circuit therefore you take it step by step however what i'm saying is these are the symbols that i use these are the components that i used and always pay attention to relays you're always going to have relays you're always going to have fuses it's always going to be a power distribution so you should always remember these terminals numbers okay this is just for horns horn circuits it gets much more complex obviously so just pay attention to the i need a path to ground all the time i need a complete path to ground then current flows if i do not have a complete path to ground if this is open let's say pin five is open 
right? This broken wire over here. I do not have a complete path. That means current will not flow. That means you can measure 12 here, and you can measure 12 here. There's no voltage drop across this. Okay? Anyway, there's going to be another video, hopefully. I'll see how the views are with this to explain it more deeply, uh, part two. But thanks for watching. Joe Electronics, Schematic for Auto.